our Runner Township Design Review Board meeting. Uh, before we get started, we please ask you to turn your cell phones off if you haven't already done so. And before we get the meeting started, I'm going to ask uh, Jason to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I guess it's kind of nice to see a big turnout. Uh, means the economy, hopefully, in Rounded Township is growing. So uh, we do have a long agenda. We'll try to move it through pretty quick tonight for you. So um, uh, when, we, when your uh, application is called, please approach the podium. If you have plans, you can lay them out on the table right up front there. And there's a handheld mic at the podium if you need to use that. So the first item tonight is DRB 2020-10, the application of Jing Ding Restaurant Incorporated at 1051 Conestoga Road in Bryn Mawr for a roof sign. And this is a continuation, I believe, from the March or April meeting. Hello, sir. Good evening. Hiya. So hi, my name is Mike Malloy. Again, I'm from Obermeyer, Redmond, Maxwell, Hipple, and I have uh, Selena Co. Selena is the new owner of what was um, uh, Yang Ming and is yes. now Jin Ding. And uh, you uh, gave us approval on two of our signs, and now we're back for a third. Um, this is dimensionally the same as the existing sign on the rooftop. It's an existing non-conforming. Uh, it is not lit. It is just an aluminum. Uh, design with a plastic with raised letters, and we're asking for your approval on it. It's consistent with the other uh, signage and identical dimensionally, at least, uh, to the existing sign that's at, uh, at the restaurant today. Mm -hmm. So your, your plans, I think, that you gave us show illumination. Has that no, been changed? There's no illumination. No, there's no, these are not illuminated. This is not illuminated. That was the problem the last time, I believe, and we decided to remove the illumination. So just like the existing sign, uh, there will be no, um, it will not be lit. Not changing anything else. Guys, what do you think? As long as it's not illuminated, I think it's a nice sign. I think it fits nicely. It, it fits the square, uh, the, the rectangle that's currently there. I think it'll be nice. So there's, is there any light that's going to be shined on it? Currently, you can see one. There's, yeah, the spot. Current, there's some current, up, like older, uplit sort of stuff there. Um, and so it's that's not going to change. That's, I mean, that's the only light that's, that's going to be. That's the only light. Yeah, the sign itself is not, has no, no uh, lighting. Okay. Looks pretty good. Just, Kevin, I, I know you weren't here for that first application. So we kind of went around and around a little bit with this. And uh, I guess we said as long as they uh, keep it in like the previous uh, tenant, Yang Ming, it would be okay. Yeah, if it's a non-conforming sign um, that's existing and they're replacing it in kind or smaller, mm -hmm. then yes, they're entitled to that non-conformity. Okay, all right. Even though it exceeds the height and everything. Yeah, it's existing non-conformity. Right, exactly. Okay, good. I know one thing that we had talked about last time, and I don't see it on this one. Um, this, the sign that's going to be on the wall uh, kind of has like a, a red pin traced around the letters, but this this roof one doesn't. Uh, right, and you wanted consistency among them. I think that's so the one thing I, I think. So, yeah, I, I do recall that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. that. We, can, we can do that. We'll make it consistent. If you want to make that a condition of your vote tonight, that would be great. Yeah. Um, another question that I have is I drove by the, the restaurant this morning, coming down Conestoga, and was just wondering what the intentions were for that side of the building. I know that there had been a Yang Ming sign on that side of the building, and there's also what is a pretty beat up red awning that goes along the side of that building. I didn't know what the intentions were about that. So I know it's not, not part of this application right now, but that's why I'm just asking.
the yeah, sign, the, the removing the sign. Take, yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at that. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, I was just asking. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want to commit to anything unless it, I know exactly what you're talking about. Understood. Thank you. County line. Uh, county line. Yeah. So we'd like to see consistency with the font. Specifically, this sign shows a red outline. Yeah, that's what we just addressed. Oh, I'm sorry. Sp I, I, uh, I, and I said uh, we're glad to do that. It was an oversight of uh, the designer. It's just been so so many months of lag time sure. between the things. So we'd be happy to take that as a condition tonight. Okay, so good. So either get rid of the red outline or be consistent throughout. It's red out. It'll be a red outline. All right, I like the red outline. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Jason, you all right? No, I think it's good. Colin? It's good. Okay. You all right? Yeah. Should we mention sandwich boards and stuff? Yeah, I, I don't think there's really been one there before, but you know, in Radnor Township, you're not allowed to have the A-frame sandwich boards, so you can't put those out, so don't spend your money on buying one because you're not allowed to use them. Um, I think that's okay. about it. All right. Sir, do you have any comments or questions for the board? Selena, you're okay? Okay, Tim, why don't you take it? Sure. In the matter of DRB 2020 10, the application of Jinding Restaurant for a roof sign, I move for conditional approval of the application based upon a revision to the sign such that the uh, font and the text on the sign are consistent with the sign facing, con uh, excuse me, facing County Line Road and that there's a red striping around the the text subject to that condition I move for approval is there a second I second all in favor aye, aye. okay aye. thank you thank you very much thank you best of luck next item tonight is DRB 2020-16 the application of Rosalie at the Wayne Hotel at 139 Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for outside dining Hi there. Hi. How are you? All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Valerie, can you use a handheld? Or do you want to go back to the podium? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. There was also, uh, if you remember, there was one sign when the applic applicant was, yes. Uh, we'll get that cleaned up too tonight. Okay. Uh, so the uh, the sign C, which was the um, entrance sign, the sign over the entrance. We originally had the uh, black cutout letters there with the Rosalie logo, and it exceeded the 15 foot limitation. So we went to the reverse lit halo letters, just reading Rosalie and that conforms with the 15 foot overall height. And that also matches, of course, the front signage hmm. along Lancaster, because they're gonna have halo lit letters as well. What do you guys think? Where was it previously proposed? Was it in the triangle? They were uh, flat cut out letters just pinned off in that triangle uh, section. To extend it up. And, and that was just to, uh, to repeat the logo, but it exceeded the 15 foot and now we're within that range. I think it looks a lot neater like this. Yeah, I think it looks better. Yeah. And, uh, it was what we had proposed, but right. the owner wanted mm -hmm. something else. I spent the time on the graphic. What's that? They had spent the time in, in getting the, the rose yeah, graphic. Yeah, we went through about 10 options. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, no problem with this. Okay, great. Jason? Yeah, I think that's fine. I think it looks good. Non-illuminated? Yeah, that's uh, LED illuminated. Uh, from behind it, halo lit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it looks be good. Low behind the letters. Yeah. It'll look good. Good shape. Yeah, that's okay. fine. All right. Any other questions for us, Valerie? Comments? Questions? Uh, no, I think we just have the dining. Okay. So why don't we move to the outside dining application? Yeah. 
We had submitted with the May application the floor plan, and I think they submitted some furniture. And, um, but, uh, they're, proposing, they're proposing white quartz, white Carrera quartz tops. Basically, it's um, three eighths material over three-quarter plywood. And the bases are steel. And that's what they're proposing for tables. I'm a sign girl, so this right. is my thing. So, but anyway. So where actually is going to be the outside dining? Is, is it going to be yeah, on the porch the only or yeah. strictly on the porch? Yeah. OK. All right. With the Mesa Middle, mm -hmm. there was full size. Hey, Kevin, I've got a question for you. Is there any uh, precautions with this COVID that outside dining should look at or be aware of? We will be reviewing. They'll have to submit a separate application for the outdoor dining, um, but outdoor dining has been uh, opened back up uh, under the restrictions and uh, social distancing guidelines established by the governor. So we do check in on those. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, not only do we have those existing um, outdoor dining, but we've also uh, temporarily allowed uh, facilities that don't have outdoor dining to uh, expand to have it. Um, some of those are taking advantage of that, and we expect them to then come back in at a later point for permanent outdoor dining. Okay, good. All right. Do so you guys have an approval there? You like the furniture? Good, yeah, good shape? Yep, good shape. All right. Uh, the, the one stair, or, um, the one round table, though, is, is sort of overlaps access. Actually, I'm looking at the plan. Mm -hmm. It overlaps the, the staircase in its placement. So if someone were going up or down that staircase, that, that, um, that round table is in sort of the way. And I'm thinking of someone who, who's in need of the handrail as support. Uh, potentially, they only have the other handrail to kind of be able to get up there. And then I don't know if, based on the width of that staircase, you do have to provide two obviously, but um, I, I think we would want to move that round uh, table so there's no obstruction to the free egress of that stair. There's two 54 diameter tables, you can see them flying. I'm sorry, Valerie, again, the mic, please. Yeah, you can just use a handheld if you want to. There's two 54 diameter tables. We can't see it now because you took it off the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a plan. Do you guys have a plan? No. So it's not the, the quantity of the tables uh, are, are fine. The size of them are yeah, fine. Yeah. It's just that that I'm I'm concerned that that round table is uh, in in direct conflict with someone trying to go up and down that staircase. Mm -hmm. Look, it's a table that can easily be moved and, and relocated. I'm not worried about it. I just want to sort of address it as documented here. That I I probably wouldn't I wouldn't approve of of putting the table there. Yeah, with the table. I have no doubt that we'll find the right location for it. We okay. would do that check in the field once everything is set up and you know right. as they get rolling. So that that would be something that we would be looking at from an egress standpoint, emergency services, and a safety standpoint. You don't want somebody pushing back on the chair and then falling down the steps. So exactly. that those yeah. are all things that we take into consideration. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Right. Any other comments, questions? Oh. Valerie, are you good with us? Well, yeah. Part two with the chair. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, well, back on the mic. <laughs> the chairs are green. Um, the whole, I think, theme is sort of like pink, rose, and green. And uh, they're the uh, bistro style chairs. In good shape with those. They're pretty heavy duty, it looks like. So. Yeah, they're powder yeah. coated in aluminum. Yeah. Okay. All right, pretty cut and dry. Can yep. I take it, Colin? Sure. Okay. The matter of DRB 2020-16, Rosalie at the Wayne Hotel, motion to approve exterior wall sign and uh, outdoor dining tables and chairs. Here second. a second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. And, and the final approval will come from the code department and health inspector, so we're just an advisory board, but. Mr. Okay. Chairman, 
Did yes. that include the sign as well? I just yes, wanted to it did okay. include yeah. the sign. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you very Thank much. You. Next is DRB 2020-18, the application of the Bruner Brothers at 375 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for wall signage and awnings. Good evening, everyone. Hi. I introduce myself. My name is Bill Mignucci, and I'm the uh, president of DeBruno's and Danny DeBruno's grandson. Um, I'm with my colleague, Virginia Sheets, who's also a uh, project manager and finance director at DeBruno's, and our designer, Dylan, uh, from Cohere Design. And we're here to answer all your questions for our exciting new project. We're looking forward to being part of the community. And I know we have a bit to go through. Okay, well. Where shall we start? Yeah, where should we start, right? <laughs> so you've got a lot of signs, and uh, I'll tell you what, why don't we start with the awnings? Does this work? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Um, yeah, just to kind of quickly back up what um, Bill was saying as well, um, we know that we are coming in with a few too many signs today. Um, and so I have had the opportunity to speak with Kevin a little bit on some adjustments we could make um, to hopefully have like a conditional approval if we made those adjustments. Um, so I'm wondering the best way to either, I guess, touch base on, I, I even brought like an updated rendering that, you know, better represents what's in code. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we start with that as far as the correct amount of signs and okay. how that looks. Would you agree well, with that, Robert, or how well, would you? I think, I think the awnings, you can put as many awnings as you want right. over every window. Yes. And uh, let me just ask you, that, ask you this. What kind of material are the awnings going to be? So. Are you going to use this umbrella? We actually want to make them out of a structural steel aluminum metal. Okay. Um, this way they're easy to like clean and, mm -hmm. and upkeep. We've done it before. With, with um, the scalloping? Yeah, with the scalloping. Yes. Nice. So not the canvas like you're typically yeah. used to. Yeah, that's, that's a acceptable material, so. Okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, on your drop of the awning. Yes. You're allowed up to eight inch letters? Yes. Okay. Got you. All right, the problem is. Not <laughs> that, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> all right, what you're putting on the awning. Yes. So. Here, let me bring just kind of the update of what we're thinking for the awning, if you're able to see that. Um, so if you were to zoom in on the west facade, which is truly the front facade, I've actually removed the um, verbiage that was there just doesn't seem, it seems a little redundant to have mm. the Bruno Brothers again, and it just seems a little cheesy for us to have our phone number there. But again, I gotta talk to Boss back there on what he prefers. Right. Um, but you can see on the side facing the farmer's market that I did bring in to Bruno Brothers on three of them. Mm -hmm. And I believe it sounds like that would fall within yes. code if I'm understanding so I'm sorry, things. You said the west was on top. Wouldn't that be the south? I believe this is the west facade. Doesn't the west yeah. face the farmer's market? So, so that's the oh. bottom, right? South. South. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Can you use a, the handheld? Mike? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Or, excuse, or at the podium, I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. So you're right. The, the, um, south. Uh, the, the bottom top is picture is facing Lancaster Avenue, Correct. Uh, which is south. And then this is the side view facing the west. Lancaster Farmer's Market west. Okay. Yep, I agree. Okay. okay. So how's the board feel about the awning, materials, graphics. So the only change to what you're showing on the screen is you remove the font from the awning on the west side. On the south side. I'm sorry. I know, I confused you. <laughs> no, because I don't see it on the west side up there. The awnings have no font, right? Yeah, it's removed. Yeah, removed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then it's included on every other. Yep. And on the west. Okay. And they're just saying to Bruno Brothers. Correct. Right. Yeah, made that adjustment. I mean, you have the opportunity, if you wanted, to put a phone number, a website. Um, Sounds about or it. Or your address. Okay. Yeah, so that opportunity is there. 
Okay. But it, I think maybe the way you're doing it is nice and clean. Yeah, just thinking about on this side at least. Um, does that still have the scalloping? I can't really tell from here. It does. Okay. I know it's super small, but it does. I just couldn't see from this. I do have extra copies if you want. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Smallest. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think that'll look nice. Yeah. I think it's less less busy. Uh, you guys, you guys like the uh, the look and all. So the. Um, South side would have no font on the awnings. And the west side would have every other and just say to Bruno. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So are we in agreement that the awnings are okay? I, I think the awnings are fine. Yeah, I think they'll look good. Yep. Yeah. I think they look fine. Um, if we were to put a border around the scalping, a black border, would that need additional approval? Just paint an outline. I don't see why it would. These, uh, define the shape more. Yeah, I have to get approval from the boss. <laughs> Can't tell from her reaction if she liked it or not. My eyes are trying. Our emotionalist society. <laughs> you guys are right with that, Tim? You're yeah, right I'm fine with that. Jason, you good with that? Yeah, I think that's fine. It could be part of the conditional approval. I think, if I may, the reaction to wanting to put the border there is because we're looking at a flat two-dimensional image. Yeah. Where in the reality, that thing's projecting from the facade fairly, uh, I mean, I'm not sure, but it's projecting out fairly far. I don't think you need it, quite frankly. You already have a dark facade for which this sort of lighter canopy will juxtapose against that. We'll already sort of have that contrast that you want, so you'll read the scallop. Effect. I agree. In this dimension, it looks flush. Right, and and it's and the, it's hard to read, and and so that the reaction would be, well, let's just add more to Some it. And I don't think you have to. Mm -hmm. Editing, much like you have from your first submission till now, is serving you better in that case. Less is best. I agree. Uh, that's a good Learn point. I like that. <laughs> and no lighting on the awnings in any no way. No lighting on the awnings. Okay. That's right. There, there's one other thing, and I'm. I don't think you're gonna have an issue with it, but they need to be at least seven feet from grade and height. So for anybody tall, so they don't cut their head. So mm -hmm. yeah, minimum of seven feet. You got from it. From grade, okay. All right, so we're good with the awnings. All right. So, so do we see an issue with that, being that they're gonna be sheet metal? Will they all be above seven? They'll yes. have to be. Yeah. yeah, they'll have to be. And even just how we're showing them in the drawing right now, I mean, they're way above. Yeah. I would think the only the one on the uh, far north side might be an issue, if that's true grade. Okay, I can make sure that happens. Yeah. Surely. One thing I'll mention to you is some of those graphics you have on the awnings. Yes. Um, you have an opportunity maybe to put some vinyl uh, graphics in your window. That's right. So you're allowed up to 15 square feet of your window space. That's right. So you see a lot of people, they must have a crawl at the base of the window. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just something to think about. Sure. If they're gonna go with windows, they could just do almost this entire application in the windows. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, right. Um, I just confirmed they are, they do all start above seven feet. Okay, you can see great. there's the side measurement that takes, that's at the highest point of the elevation. Okay, all right, good, good. Right, right there, the seven goes across here, and that's the highest point. Okay. So we should be well clear. Um, Good. All right. Okay, why don't we look at uh, maybe the your, main your larger sign? wall signs? Yeah, maybe that's the one we, over that's the door. What we were thinking too. Yeah, let's, let's go there. All right, give me one moment. Take your time. All right. Let's see how that's working. Okay. Um, so for the main sign over the doorway, Again, we're just trying to keep consistent with the materials that we're looking to use. So this one's a aluminum frame. Um, in this case, we're powder coating it the same color as the exterior. Um, and then the actual letters would be die cut and backlit. We wanted to give an example, which is that treetops version, just so you could get like a, a sense of what that is going to look like. It's a little bit more ambient, um, which is all kind of aesthetically pleasing. That's right, LED lit from behind. Do the letters project out from the uh, 
the sign of or the sign ban? No, they're just being cut out. Okay. So getting some of those serifs in there are going to be interesting, but it's doable and as high up as it is, I don't think it's going to be like anything um, not aesthetically pleasing. Right. And the border is a cutout as well. That's right. So it's two pieces. Well, I think what would happen is there would be like two little Some brackets on the back. Yeah, okay. two little attachments for that border to stick together, mm -hmm. like a stencil. So, do we have issue with culinary pioneers? No, I think they need a kind of a byline as such, and we usually let most businesses have something. So, okay. we just said to Bruno Brothers, you don't know what kind of store it is, so it kind of identifies what yeah. type of store. I bring a little uh, of the yeah. Italian market up here. Yeah, so I think it looks nice. I don't know. What do you guys feel? Look yeah. great. Yeah, yeah it looks Chase, nice. You're good. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's a it's a nice sign. Is this okay. the same font you use at all your other locations? That's right. Yeah, that's their main logo. Okay, good. So we're we're in agreement. That looks good. Yep. Okay. Nice. So that's just on the uh, south side. That's Correct. right. All right. All right. So and so then I think it would make, should we also quickly talk about this cafe sign? Yes. Is that all right with you? The rectangular ones, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, so right now we're just showing like a bronze casted letter um, that would be pinned and, and held up. There is no lighting feature to this. Um, and I believe it's also, let's see. Yeah, I think that measurement's wrong. But it should be kind of right under that, that 15. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I, I'm taking into account the slope that's happening here, but I know we need to be careful that that sign doesn't hit above the 15 feet allowance. Yeah, I'll tell you one of the issues we have with this site is a zoning, it's a planned business. So there's different language for different areas if you're a commercial that, area, yeah. planned business or what have you. Right. So according to the code book, which we have to follow, you're, and I'll read it, one wall sign not to exceed 60 square feet. So really, technically they're allowed one wall sign on the south elevation and one wall sign on the west elevation. Because mm -hmm. they're a corner property, they're allowed one sign on a corner property per side. So according to the code book, even though those signs look beautiful and looks really neat, they don't meet code. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, that, and that's an issue. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how you guys want to get around that. Right. But Yeah, we, we would probably um, need to speak kind of after this meeting, getting a feel for everything mm -hmm. and considering okay. what our options are. Sure, and sure. if we want to get relief on that or yes. not. And that's um, always an option. Awesome. Refresh my uh, my recollection here as to the the overall where this building is going to be as part of the the existing shopping center. Is this cafe section is that technically part of the other building or is it? Yes. So I'll let me explain because it's um, there you go. That's a good picture. It was a formerly the dry cleaner, which is next door to Kitchen Capers. And it's recessed back a little bit, the entrance, that is. So it is a separate entrance for a coffee bar. So it's a separate entrance, but is it actually internally connected to the other Internally, there, we broke through the wall, so it would be. So you can, see, yeah. you can see the black part is where we've been showing most of it. And then we also have this one space. And this is from last month right. when they were in here for the whole area. Right. So there is a breakthrough between the walls, but they are two separate exteriors. Mm -hmm. And that's why we would like you know, to be able to do something signage-wise. Mm -hmm. Well, I just uh, turned the book over to Collins, so he's kind of- Interpreting it the same way. Yeah, yeah Collins interpreting the same way. Uh, unfortunately, because they're nice. I mean, Yeah, it really does. It looks great, but unfortunately, it doesn't meet code. Would so. we be allowed to uh, eventually go for a variance? Is that is the process? Sure, sure. Okay. I mean, you certainly have plenty of time before you're going to yeah. put your signage up at this point. Absolutely. So if you guys want to go back and kind of reevaluate everything, and you can always come back to our board and, and show us a new plan or, yeah. So but uh, at, we'll, at this point, we're good with the main sign. Yeah, correct? I think the main sign, we're in agreement. Awnings, I think we're in agreement, look good. 
they Jason, look good? Jason, we, I, I think they look good. I, and I'm, I'm trying, in the way, so they don't have to come in front of this board again, essentially, for that. For side. the aesthetic approval? For the aesthetic approval, we could say that, that the cafe sign, um, provided they, they seek the, the relief from the zoning board. And the fact that it's a it. different build, or a, a different right. entrance thing might actually be so something that you want to keep in back of your mind when you think that down the road. How you present right, it to them, it's, it, it does look, there's an appearance that that is a separate entity, right? Because it does have the difference between the sort of black facade of, of, of the sort of formal component mm -hmm. uh, of the Bruner Brothers in this. So I, I would say that, uh, or bring it back to us, Yes. Are, are we okay if we were to approve the cafe sign from an aesthetic viewpoint so it doesn't have to come back in front yeah. of us? And so that the zoning board gives them the relief, then they can move forward with the sign as it's documented. Well. Let me, let me just, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of different, you know, cafe with yeah. the different graphics. I mean, that's a lot. Well, we'll get to those. We're still, still not there yet. Okay. But I, I'm speaking just of the cafe sign okay. that's, a, that's uh, above in that other portion okay. of where the cleaners right. are currently. Okay, good. So that's, yeah, well, there'll, so be, there'll be no door there, though, right? There is a door. There's there a is. separate entrance yeah, there. there. I guess I'm not seeing it. It's, it's on right where the 164 uh, is. Yeah. See the dimension 64. Oh, yeah, like that's kind of hidden. I'm pointing yeah. to it here. <laughs> because it's set back a little bit, which is why we'll, we'll apply for the relief. I think it's in the plan. Yeah, you can, you can see it's sort of, I mean, it like goes up that exit, but you can actually see that that would be the same kind of door frame. And that was all see before the us the last time when it was talking about the, the facade change to the entire shopping complex. That's so. right. I'm sorry, what's that, Tim? That was part of the, the facade change for the entire yeah, okay. strip mall. Okay. Right. They were talking to us about that. Mm -hmm. Right. So it, it does look, however, uh, if you look at just based on the dimensions that are there on the elevation, that it's well above the 15 feet, right? Because you have the 16 foot four, <laughs> and that gets you to maybe, you know, it so still looks like it's a little bit above where that 16 that foot four 16 is. That 16 four is actually to the bottom. It doesn't take in mind the slope. We've got the other one here that shows it's right below the 15-2. And see, we updated it. Okay. It's, is it going into the same spot where the other signs are along yeah. the? Yeah. That's that correct. Something I kind of wanted to bring up. These all look well above the 15. We're placing it right as those are. Mm -hmm. And that might um, be something that's already been addressed via variance or something in the past. I don't know the records on yeah, this. I, I don't know, but I was going to ask Dylan, is there an existing sign there now? Um, where the cafe sign is? No, yes. but FedEx. Okay. It looks I like it's got the cleaner sign. Yeah, there. the cleaners is what's there. If, yeah. the, if, they're, if they're replacing a sign that's there, we would grandfather in the height just like we did on the last application. Right. Right. So, right. Yeah. There is a sign there. It's this cleaners in red. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah. For the old dry cleaner space. Okay. And so they're changing the facade behind it, but then the signs are going back on top of where they were, if I remember correctly. That's correct, yeah. And so the FedEx is going to be where it is, if it's still even there. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I, remember. I, I remember there were a bunch of different tenants moving in and out of that strip FedEx mall. FedEx is still there for yeah. now. So in terms of the height, I think that you're probably in that area. But since we're going conditional on any of this, then that can be a condition of everything as well. Right. Is that man door going to be egress only, or is that going to be, uh, uh, I'm sorry, under the cafe? The single man door underneath the cafe sign? Is that going to be like emergency exit only? No. It's going to be, be an entrance? A separate entrance for a coffee bar. So if you just wanted to come into the store and grab coffee, you don't have to go into the main store. Gotcha. Uh, the stores inside, uh, we are taking out the wall, so you'll be able to go in. So you go it. down those stairs from the main area, and that's like a coffee bar? That's right. Gotcha. You go I just couldn't tell. It looked more kitchen to me than anything. But Behind it is the kitchen. Got it. Right. So this is a, a small coffee bar in the front of the store. Front. You get them in for the coffee. They smell the sandwich, and they move over to the next <laughs> spot, and then they'll so. buy an, a wheel of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we I work hoping. across from the, armor, uh, the uh, farmer's market in Armour. I, I know what you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my, my stomach knows it well. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so moving along. All right, yeah. Just go to the west of the sun. Oh, Bobby and I, have, <laughs> it, he's a good guy. He and I talk talk frequently. OK, now we're talking about the west side. Yeah, we're just positioning to talk about the one sign on the west side. We're just pulling everything up. All right, 
Um, so again, kind of aesthetically here, there's, you know, we're coming from Philly. That's where the De Bruno Brothers was born. Um, and so bringing in some of that kind of South Philadelphian mural-like feel, um, our hopes is to have a wall-mounted sign. This would be made of wood and painted um, with our design of, you know, um, one of their first logos that they had um, with the addition of, you know, what you can expect of the store. So Gourmet Marketplace, Kuchina, um, showcasing some illustrations, utilizing the colors that have been seen before on the facade, so the Black Horizon, um, as well as the Sherwin-Williams, which will match not only the awnings, um, but some of the touches on the inside as well. I think we're faced with the same problem. It looks great, but it doesn't meet code. <laughs> well, you, you, you're going to, uh, all right, this is going to go on the west, west elevation. That's right. Okay. For the west side. It's going to be one and only. Yeah. In, so, in our revised, yes. Okay. So we still have the, you know, the, the three awnings and then our one side. Here. Okay. Well, we're allowed one, one sign. Yeah, what are the one dimensions of it? Yes, 11, I have 11. it at uh, 15, five um, feet by 11. Mm -hmm. Just snug well, right into up, that area. You're allowed up to 60 area. square feet on that one sign, so you're, you're well within that. That's right. Yeah. But you're allowed 60 square feet, right? Yeah, in, in that, in that uh, district, yeah, plan, plan business. That what comes in at 170. That's 170 square yeah, feet. I, yeah, I don't do math well, but. That's 170.5 square feet. So it's, oh. <laughs> it's like three times the size I'm, I'm, of what's I'm, permitted. I'm looking at that. I'm thinking inches inside. <laughs> Come on, you Jason. Bob's math? Or? <laughs> yeah, right. And I was really good at Bob's math. Like Bob's math. <laughs> See, that happens with age, that stuff, you know? Yeah. All so right. we can bring that down in yeah. size. Sorry um, about that. That was great. You can no bring worries. it down size where if you can throw in their own variant stuff, this is something you can go in for a variance on. Right. I mean, there, that you're going to hear that later on as well. So to that point then, if they're sort of seeking relief on, on the cafe sign, right now we've only talked about the cafe sign as, as requiring that. Yeah. The, the second question would be if, if you wanted to pursue it as it's documented here at 170 square feet, um, that's going to require, again, the zoning approval and relief from that. The question would be if, again, coming back to the same way we talked about the cafe sign, would we be okay with what it looks like now so mm -hmm. that they don't have to come back in front of it, and so it's a conditional approval for the sign from an aesthetic viewpoint. Aesthetically, um, I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. You said something about this is an old logo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sign is essentially an old logo. Just the uh, letter forms of DeBruno Brothers, yeah, the, the font, font used up here. More of a black font. Mm -hmm. What about everything below that? Is that all part of a logo? No. Culinary pioneers, for sure, but the rest of it's more decorative. Sort of the gotcha moment there is if you said yes, we would. it's part of the logo, so it gets approved. But because it's not, essentially, it, it's not approved in that context then, right? Um, and so to that point, here comes the sort of back and forth. If it's not, then we would say you have to remove it, in which mm -hmm. case it just makes natural sense, then we can reduce the size of the... Mm -hmm. of the sign to be something that's more accommodating. Mm -hmm. And so really it, it's, it's back on you guys essentially. Uh, and what I mean by that is whether or not you're inclined to say, look, we'll take a 60 square foot sign and we'll, we'll take it back and look at it and see what the right, what it would look like to provide us a 60 foot square or a 60 square foot sign. Or you say, hey, we're already seeking you know, relief on the cafe. Maybe we'll bring this in front uh, and, and to seek the same relief or a similar type of relief for a sign that's like this. But again, it's still, because it's not part of the logo, it, it wouldn't be approved in that context from an aesthetic viewpoint from us, mm -hmm. from this board. So, my question would be, if it did match the, the, uh, this sign, which is our logo, if it did match that, if I took this uh, sign here and dropped it here, uh, it would be part of our logo if they were so identical. The, the font per se isn't, isn't the issue as much as it's sort of the ancillary 
stuff that's on okay. there the, the the cheese the, nice the olives the you know mm -hmm. the salami or whatever that might so it's be more right the it's icons. that kind of right mm -hmm. um, so uh, just understanding your uh, advisement here um, if we want to get a larger sign we would go for zoning uh, relief but it still doesn't uh, include the fonts or the uh, icons well, what would, where would we say we would draw the line on what's here now? Well, I, I, I think what we have to watch for is, you know, I think these guys are going to do a great job spending a lot of money. Make, they're going to be a Absolutely. big player in Reiner Township. But I think the problem is if they got approval, every restaurant in town is going to want to put spaghetti bowl on their sign. Or, and then you just open up a can of worms. So we have to be careful of what we allow because you know everybody's going to come in and want to do. So then, the really, we would draw it. the line both, probably, literally and figuratively, essentially under the since 1939. Yeah. What we're saying is everything below that is not part of and the logo. And then maybe you can achieve a 60-foot sign by just doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of that. So they named the Bruno Brothers and Culinary Pioneers since 1939 uh, is uh, acceptable. Yes. And um, in a 60-foot sign, it's good. We need a larger we get of zoning relief. And if you're going to do away with some, of, do away with the icons. If you want the icons in a window, mm -hmm. as long as you don't take up more than 50, 15 percent of your window, mm -hmm. okay. you have yeah, that by right. I think we're very. Uh, I know we are. I think we're very open. We just, yeah, right. We're very flexible. Mm -hmm. We we have the certain provisions of the code that we're, we have we're confined by we're here to um, meet the code and yeah. be in compliance <laughs> and, and we want to we don't want to be a, a stumbling block to, yeah. to moving forward with no. this because yeah. we're I'm excited that you guys are coming Jason, can, I, can I just make sure I understand the design portion like is it a matter that the logos used on one facade or the other need to be the same or like this is an older vintage logo of De Bruno so the, the, I just want to make sure I was understanding uh, I, and this is where it might be slightly subjective on, on the part of the board, I'm okay as it's, as it's shown as far as the font between what's happening on the front facade and then on the side. Mm -hmm. Like that, in, in my opinion, that's okay. The, the, the issue that we have as far as what becomes a logo is everything that's in addition to, as we said, It's not you know, already a part of it. After the pioneers of since 1939. Beyond that, it's not part of the logo and subsequently, uh, you know, sharing Bob's concerns are essentially everyone and their mother, then we would set a precedent right. where everyone else would be throwing everything else up on so a sign. Is, is the brick already there? No. So there's the other side of this too. Uh, when we're talking about signs, we're talking about what you put on top of, of the wall. Now, if you're talking about a retro feel, if that was built into the wall, like that was actually built into the wall and, and actually something of structure for the wall, then it would be just like any type of name at the top of the building that's already in, in the bricks that, that you see. That's, I'm just throwing mm -hmm. that out there. But as it is right now, um, that's why you, you are confined <laughs> to the size that you are yeah. at. That's a slippery slope. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. we, we were going to come in and do that, but <laughs> we went against it. So just to be clear, um, if we basically see where the pen is, cut it off kind of there, see what I mean? Yep. And had the bottom border there mm -hmm. uh, instead of the pen, and got that just under 60, then are, it would be, are we comfortable done. with that? Slam dunk. As a plan? Yes. Okay. So we understand the direction. Yeah. So why don't we do that, and then we just have to do relief for this one. So far. Okay. I think that's a good good call. I think your you know your your building's going to be very unique and it's going to stand out. So I don't think you guys are you know even if you didn't put any signage on that building, people are still going to know it's the Bruno Brothers. Well, well I hope so. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, and I think <laughs> yeah, don't get too carried away with right. these signs. Believe me. People Quite frankly, like the Bruno Brothers in and of itself has the name recognition and subsequently that brand recognition that it, you, you know what you're getting when you Thank go you. there, mm -hmm. and, and which is great. That's a testament to what you guys have done and, and, and how you've grown. And so I wouldn't worry about sort of the additional stuff because, like I said, the, the brand recognition is there, right? And just the fact that you're going to have the, the new black building next to the, the strip mall, it's going to be offset onto itself mm -hmm. in, in that way. 
Or yeah, do we, we want to we talk want about to, uh, uh, plug in and integrate into the community? We're not looking for any special. Right. right. Uh, and to that end, we removed the other signs that were on there because we we know that that would be more than one sign. Okay. Um, and we're really trying to trying to make it work within right. your guys' Yeah, program. I appreciate that. Thank so you. So really what we wanted to accomplish today were the three signs, the cafe, the front, and this one. Mm -hmm. And if we we got, um, you know, two-thirds of the way there, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And we're good on the awnings, so yeah. Yeah. We're, we're good. we made good progress. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, if yes, I sir. could add, as we're going through a lot of these changes, yeah. um, just to make sure that we have a consistent record, um, once all of these modifications are discussed with the board and you, the granting kind of approval with conditions, um, that Dylan submits back to our mm -hmm. office a clean set of plans so we can have yeah. a consistent um, you know, right. so copy. So you guys file. are showing us now need to be yes. sort of submitted. So thank you. That right. sounds yeah. great. Yeah, I was hoping that was the. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Six physical coffees, Kevin, or just like that. Two is fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think. My only other comment yeah. about the west sign would be, do you want to then, since you're re doing the entire thing theoretically be consistent with the fonts and I don't care either way I'm just throwing it out there so it's a good point right like and, mm -hmm. and the reason why I sort of maybe echo that is because um, does it lose the the quality of it being that sort of old painted on brick sign now because it's being reduced that was my it, it point. basically looks like another box sign or, or you know just replicating the same sign. I think you could still arch the font but you know, mm -hmm. duplicate the font that you're showing mm -hmm. on the south side. I, and I'm not I, I, and I don't know really I mean I'm just throwing it out there I don't have mm -hmm. an opinion one way or the other I'm just it just it, it might lose the the quality that you're originally going for yeah. but again I I wouldn't I wouldn't be concerned either way. Yeah me neither I'm just saying I think the south side <laughs> south side font is much more elegant. I um, I'd just like to ask a question. If we were to replicate that um, font an exact sign but larger, but within 60, um, do we need permission to light that as well? No. Like, I guess if we were just going to take the same exact sign, size it to be within code, and have the back lighting. Mm -hmm. be fine. Yeah. Well, so that lighting excites me. And, uh, Being below 60, though. Below 60, mm -hmm. but so we'll take the same sign, we'll just size it yeah, to the side, and it'll look the high. same. I think that uh, the option will go if the ladies agree. We'll take the same exact sign, we'll just size it and light it, and everybody's happy. I keep it below 50 feet. We're taking yeah, up a lot of your time, yeah. board. So yeah. <laughs> let me ask you this. I think that's the direction we'll go, and we'll send you the paperwork and designs for that. Would, great. Would would the board want to see? Since they've got a lot of time before those signs are going to go up, would the board like to see yeah. uh, this group come back with a clean set of set of plans so we can just look at it again and review them again? I think so, just because there's so many changes. Yeah. Do Why don't we do that? You, we just we'll do a continuation. Okay. You guys kind of know what we're after. Yep. Clean set of plans. Mm -hmm. We'll look at them on another day, and uh, we'll make some more comments, yep. and hopefully everything looks good. And we had just level sets the, the sort of playing field for, for all our comments and yeah. sort of memorializes mm -hmm. this conversation mm -hmm. in a way that, that we capture all that we've talked about and then subsequently mm -hmm. have the right, like I said, sort of level set of, of what's going to be yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you guys want to make yeah. 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 yeah, you may want to make some more changes before you come back, but encourage uh, samples. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Great. Is, uh, one last question. This, yeah, is just, this is just. Yeah, please do. Um, is the Bruno Brothers Cafe a separate entity? It is not. Okay. All right, then we'll separate see you later. Yeah. Were you trying to help us there, Tim? <laughs> I was just checking. <laughs> Thank you. I have Get your there. LLC docs ready. Okay. So, so wait, are, are we going to talk about the um, the other stuff or not? So, so it's being removed. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, completely gone. gone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think we've covered all the signage in, correct? Yes. Okay. Including uh, the. The projecting sign. Oh yeah, we've got yeah, it. That's right. Wheel. The projecting sign. Yeah. Is the, the cheese wheel coming off? Well, Is that gone? Thank you, Kim. I just didn't realize the cheese wheel was coming off till now. Um, I thought I saw uh, these signs. Too. It's a. Uh, um, those signs are coming off. They're gone. But there is this unique cheese wheel that is something that we have at uh, well most of our stores, and it's a. 
And listen, it doesn't have to be. We could put it inside somewhere, I guess. But um, it, it has a light on it, and it's a Reggiano Parmesan wheel that it hangs outside uh, on the corner there. There you are. And I guess is um, that's probably pushing it. <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd ask. Kevin, I, I, I know within the Wayne Business Overlay District, we have approved maybe a few years ago projection yes. signs, it's and I know Spread Eagle, I guess, has a special variance or whatever for projecting signs, but I'm not too sure. In that I don't area think it's do. permitted. It's, you know, Dylan and I were, were looking at this and it's not something that I could right. find in the code that um, was allowed in this district. Mm -hmm. is okay. it, as nice of a sign as it is, and yes. as nice as what they're doing, um, aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. As we discuss here, just some okay. limitations that. Put it on the best wall in the store. Yeah, we'll find yeah. a home for it. Yeah. We thought we'd ask, never hurts to ask. <laughs> and, and again, with your, if you decide you want to do some window graphics, maybe you yeah. can bring those in also All when right. you come and back we'll to see that. us. Got it. Okay. We understand we have good direction. Yeah. Thank like you. I said, we got plenty of time to do this right. You don't have to yeah. rush it through. And uh, no. yeah. We're, if, we're on board. We thank you for your time. Oh, yeah. If you uh, want to come and pay us a visit next month. Yeah. You're going to have to get your plans into the township building by, actually by August no, July 22nd. 22nd. You're right. Mm -hmm. July 22nd. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. And if we miss you next month in yeah. August, we'll see in September. So. Okay. What What's your projection on the building? I know it's. It looks like um, Q1 of uh, 2021. That's okay. not bad. No. No. We're, we're you know with all the circumstances, we're happy with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing you okay. uh, in August. All right. Any other questions for the board? You guys are good? Yeah. So. Mr. Chairman, just yes. two things, because um, we didn't get an actual recommendation yeah. on the awnings. We there was discussion about the, the black trim around that. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe to give the board some um, idea of what it's going to look like, maybe show an option with the trim with it on the black and without it, okay. um, just to give the board some perspective. Um, and we will now need six copies since it's actually coming back. So. Okay. If you're and, still considering the trim. Right. Okay. And Jason, you want to make a, a motion for a continuation? Then? Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. All right. So uh, in the matter of DRB 2020-18, uh, the application by De Bruno Brothers for signage and awnings, uh, I move to continue for next month. Pending, second. Um, there you go. Second. Okay. Thank on, you. On favor? Aye. 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 All right. So okay. Have a good Thank night. you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for your patience. You bet. All right. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Next application on tonight's agenda is DRB 2020-19, the application of Stonegate at Devon Apartment Homes, 300 Avon Road in Devon, for one freestanding sign. Hi there. Good evening, my name is Richard Crawford. I'm with Bar Tree Sign Company. We're in Orgsburg, Pennsylvania. And I'm here tonight with Lauren Workheiser, who is Design Director at Morgan Properties. Okay. Uh, funny story, uh, we were ready to go before the Tredyffrin Township Zoning Hearing Board, and our attorney said, you know, that sign number one isn't in Tredyffrin Township. <laughs> so out it went, and we're here tonight to ask for permission to revise this existing little directional sign. Okay, well, it's nice to hear here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Great. Why don't you walk us through your sign? It looks like it's yeah. done very nicely. And uh, it's, It is an internally illuminated sign. It's made out of aluminum. The background is opaque. So just the letters and the blue line. There's a, there's a blue line on there, I think. Yeah. Light up. There's a center pole. It's uh, LED lighting. There's a center pole in there that you can't see. There's a little aluminum base. And then there's a stone base beneath that which this is just a placeholder. We're gonna to try to match the stone that's on the monument that's at the main entrance, yeah. which I think is Avon. Avon or, yeah. Um, I think we're code compliant. Yeah, your setback's good and uh, height is good. And we're at 14.5 square feet. We're at five feet to the top. Mm -hmm. um, we had to go to Shadifrin because they didn't allow lighting in this zone, but now they're thinking of changing the code. We did get permission for this sister sign at the corner of Poplar and um, Sugartown. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for this second sign uh, as you come towards the main entrance. Yeah, looks good. This is the- Curiosity, what does the black line represent? 
Is that the township line? That's, that's the line. And I have this, I have a blow up of the site plan. So it's a tiny little Building A is split between two townships? Just a tiny little part. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in my first year of law school. It's, yeah. it's resident. I lived there my first year of law school. It's interesting. How did that happen? Yeah. yeah. I have a question. Uh, in, in looking at the elevation, the sign elevation, the, we have the 23 and a half inches worth of stone. Amazing. And then what, what's that eight inch band above the stone? It's fabricated aluminum. Okay. It's seamless. It's a design element that Morgan uses on a lot of their uh, monolith style signs. Right. Okay. Is it just going to be left blank? Yes. Would there be a, uh, a thought of maybe putting uh, 300 Avon Road on that or not? Or is that confusing to the public? Um, or or Sugartown Road? Or on there, I have no problem doing it. It's right on Sugartown, so I don't yeah, know if it's so confusing. It's on Sugartown, but the actual address of the community is Avon, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't. I have no objection to putting 300 on there, so mm -hmm. that it might tie into people looking for 300 yeah. Avon. But I don't. Uh, to put Avon on that might might confuse people a little bit. Okay. But typically, I mean, as Rick mentioned, we really just use that as a transition and a height piece to between the base and the sign panel. So mm -hmm. typically, it's. It's aluminum, it has a metallic finish, you know, has a nice aesthetic look. Um, we try and not put graphics on it that would then compete with whatever we have on the actual sign panel. Okay. Should we give them the leeway to kind of let them do whatever they want on that, whether they want to or not? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what components of this are lit then? The, the cabinet itself has LED lighting inside. It has an opaque face, so only the white letters show through. So at night, so you just, you just see the copy. I think the one thing that I would want to see consistency with is this is essentially the same sign that we approved at the home properties, Bryn Mawr. I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, it's the same right. company. It's, mm -hmm. it's the same. It's almost identical. Uh, I think one thing that we did with them was we had a timer put onto the lights. There you go. Um, and also we may have. I'm trying to remember, did we restrict what could be lit and what could not? Uh, from recollection, I believe we, we talked about it, but I think in the end we were okay with I with think it was just the timer. entirety the of timer. it. As long as the timer. As long as the timer, yeah. It was, it was the leasing center issue. Yeah. When it was open and when it wasn't. Is that so um, one of the conversations that we have with Tradifferin for the other sign that we received approval on was we're adding main entrance um, and a directional to this sign because as you approach Stonegate's main entrance, there are several ways that you can then turn off right before you get to the main entrance. So um, we actually did also request with Tradifferin that we, that we be allowed to have the sign illuminated from dusk until dawn. Um, their code currently restricts it. It has to go off at midnight and we did receive approval on that just because the nature of our business, you know, we deal with emergencies, we deal with things in the middle of the night, having signage that clearly identifies the property, the main entrance, how to get to it quickly, either for first responders or people visiting the property is really important to us. Um, and that's, you know, one of the main reasons why we try and keep, and this one doesn't have necessarily leasing center shout out on it, it's more about the main entrance and getting people down two more rights before they then turn into the property. And the main entrance is still the one that goes down to the pool? Yes, exactly, and it's um, flagged by two stone walls that will have panels in, be in between. Um, and then the sister sign to this on the opposite corner is internally illuminated, same copy that says main entrance, next left. Well, I mean, I, I think it's going to be low intensity. I don't think it's going to be a... I, I was just bringing that yeah. to the attention, but I think that that's a valid reason for having it lit. Okay. All right. You guys good with that? Yeah, keep it lit. Okay. I think it's fine. All right. Any other questions? No, you guys good? I think it's good. Any Mr. questions Chairman. for the board? Comments? Questions? We're good. I, Ke Kevin? I heard that there was a blue line on there. Is that illuminated or not illuminated? It, it does light. Typically, it's only the letters this board has allowed to be illuminated, so I don't know. I think we have a lot of, like, orders and stuff like that. I don't know if you... You guys want to consider that a border or just a design element? I didn't notice. Yeah, just a racing stripe. Very good, Carl. Oh, yeah. 
I'm yeah. trying to remember what actually. It's just from not that. a design element, I just want to yeah. note. So Morgan Properties, our brand is actually two shades of blue. Mm -hmm. um, we decided in 2016 when we changed the logo, we changed over to the two shades of blue, that we were still going to keep all of our signage black background with white lettering. Um, so the blue accent is really just a way in which we tie in our actual design and mm -hmm. brand. I, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I don't know. Are we, do you recall if the blue is lit down at Bryn Mawr? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I think, yeah, I think we did talk about that. So, yes, it is. And that's typically what we normally propose unless someone comes back and says, you know, absolutely not. I have no problem. Yeah, with I have it. no problem with it. Yeah. I think it'll look good. Just, it can't be that wide anyway, right? A couple inches? Yeah. 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 Less. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. We're all right. Kevin, Absolutely. Ed? Okay, good. Good. All right. Any comments, questions? We're good? I'm not sure. Not. You want to take this one, Tim? Sure. Okay. In the matter of DRB 2020-19, the application of Stonegate at Devon Apartment Homes, the application for one freestanding sign, I move for approval of the application. Here, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right, you too. All right, next is DRB 2020-20, the application of proximity at 503 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for two wall signs. Hello there. Hello, I'm Lou Silver Blank, owner of Bath Signs. Okay. Doing another sign in Eagle Village. Yes. The building is an attached building. Um, it's right in the middle there. And um, what we're proposing is to replace the two existing signs in the front of the building. This, this picture shows the existing sign over the window. Um, and I apologize that they're not drawn to the same scale, but um, the size of the sign is exactly the same. Um, that sign is uh, 16 inches by 96 inches for a total of 10.67 square feet. Um, the calculation for the building, the building, I just measured the frontage, even though it has uh, sort of you know, side as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the frontage is 32 feet, so by my calculation, we would be allowed 48 square feet of signage for this property. Is that correct? I came up with 47, but I flunked my math test earlier, so <laughs> well, don't go by me. Well, yeah, we're, well that's pretty that's close, though. before. What's that? That's better than... Uh, yeah, that was a lot better than before. Better yeah. before. I'm getting better. I'm getting sharper. Yeah. So you're you're well within your uh, yes yeah we're yeah. we're about half of sure and and it's uh, the um, the materials are going to be the same it's not illuminated mm -hmm. um, it, actually this material is probably a little bit better it's uh, PVC with an aluminum back because um, PV, PVC I've learned has a tendency to warp mm. it's more durable but it has a tendency to warp and by backing it with aluminum that mitigates that problem. So that's the, uh, the sign for the front. And for the side, again, my apologies that they're not uh, drawn to the same scale, but um, same exact position, same exact dimensions. Mm -hmm. This sign is 24 inches by 84, which is 14 square feet. So we're at a total of 24.67 yeah. square feet. You're, you're, you're in great shape. Yep. Yeah. And the one last thing is, that I know you guys like to, to see is the installation. Uh, there will be plugs covering. We're going to go through the face. We're going to go through the face mm -hmm. and plug it, paint it the same color so it will disappear. Hidden fasteners. That's great. Yep. Good. Yep. That's good. So that's it. Yeah. Well, that's that's easy. Yeah. That's real easy. What is right. the what is the business going to be? What is it? It's the, 
it's the same business. It was Interiors for the Home, but, okay. but they're changing their name. Got it. And um, so it's the same owner, same business. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who wants to take that? Uh, in the matter of DRB 20-20, 20 uh, proximity interiors to wall mounted signs, motion for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Sir, just one last question. Uh, no, no lighting then. No okay. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank thanks. You. Have a good night now. All right, next is DRB 2020-21, the application of Wells Fargo at 305 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for some facade changes. Hello there. Hi, good evening. I'm Barry Brugger. I'm representing Sam Smucker & Sons. Uh, what we're proposing to do here is replace the windows on the east side. See that. Oh, we can't see that. Uh, this, uh, these four windows on the east side, and uh, these seven in the in the uh, uh, bow window mm -hmm. here in the front. We're just going to replace it, kind of tit for tat. Cut the other ones out and put some deadlights in there, and cap you know, you know just cap it in there with smooth aluminum. Mm. Uh, same with the windows. We're, we're going to just replace the windows with vinyl windows, and I think maybe you guys got got some of the specs on that. Yes, we did. Uh, we'll put picture windows in there with uh, tempered glass. Uh, everything's tempered glass. Sure. In there. And then also I wanted to mention on the, uh, I believe it would be the south end of the building back Back here, we're also doing a commercial door with a, a transom across the top. Again, it's tit for tat, it's all commercial hardware, panic hardware, steel door, same as what they have there now. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, changing, mm -hmm. we're doing. Uh, that would probably be for the windows and the door part of it. Uh, for the siding and the capping, we're, uh, we're proposing just to cap everything with uh, 032 aluminum white. And uh, we would match all the details that are there right now, i.e. There's, uh, uh, there's a crown mold runs around where we would put special bands in there to maintain that, that crown mold look in there. Uh, sorry, I don't have a, I do have a bigger picture of some of it if you'd like to see it. I don't know if you have it. I think we're okay with that. I think we're okay. Yeah, uh, th uh, this would be over at the drive, uh, drive through end. I guess it would be the west side. Mm -hmm. of the building. Uh, we're going to keep, uh, we have this little trim piece going around the uh, freeze board the whole way around the right. building. We're going to put a piece of AZEC trim on there to match uh, yeah, yeah. almost exactly what's there. Uh, all the ceilings in there, I, I think they're stucco now, so we're not going to change that. But we would put all, all new soffit and uh, fascia up the rake boards just to cover everything. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Is it basically the building's look, looking a little tired there? Just needs a bit. Yeah, it's a little shabby looking around. Yeah. Right so, okay. So what we're uh, proposing to do is just spruce it up and maintain the look of what's there. Yeah. You know, not really change anything. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing would possibly change would be up the rakes. I'm not sure if there's uh, if, if there'd be soffit on there now, mm -hmm. but it's too wide to put aluminum in there. And make it look good, so that's why we chose chose that. I brought some samples of the materials along if you'd like to see them. Yeah, I'll see it. I'm good. That's good. You guys good? I'm fine. Yeah, no, the glass is all vision glass, right? There's no. There's no. It, it is like a low E argon glass, right? There. Like it uh, reflects ultra uh, ultraviolet yeah, rays, right. but it's, uh, yeah. it's right. It's not 100 percent up. Uh, <laughs> 100% like a clear glass yeah, yeah, yeah. panel would be. It's a little bit less than that. No, no, that, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that that was the intention. So I'm not sure if you had any other questions for me. Or? Uh, Bob brought something <laughs> up. That, um, I'm not sure if it's in your wheelhouse or not, but one of your pictures shows a, a dumpster on the uh, north, north elevation, and 
that technically needs to be in some sort of enclosure. Oh, okay. Well, I can I can point so that out to the owner. Relay that to the owner. I will indeed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Thanks, Colin. I mean, we won't hold it against you for this application, but. Oh, and I wanted to mention. Kevin might have an issue with it. Also, eventually. for this here, it's like a gigantic louver in there. We're just going to wrap each individual slat with, with, uh, with aluminum also, just to keep the same look. And right. Right. Keep mm -hmm. it from rotting away. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's pretty cut and dry. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is there any intent of the, is that a cupola up above? Is that? Oh, uh, we're not going to touch that at this time. Okay. That's not part of our mm -hmm. scope of work. All right. All right. Any other questions, sir, for the board? I'm you're, good. You're good? You guys are. Questions? <laughs> nope. No. Good. Jason, you're no, good? I'm good. Colin, yeah. you're good. I guess, Jason, you want to take this one? Sure. So in the matter of DRB 2020-21, uh, the application uh, by Wells Fargo at 305 East Lancaster Avenue in uh, Wayne, uh, I uh, moved to approve their application for facade change and window change. The dumpster. I uh, provided yeah, I'll make that, a note of that. I'll, yeah. I'll make sure I relay the message. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's not a conditional approval for the right. We'll just make mention that just the, yeah. the you know mm -hmm. that you relay to the building owner that the okay, uh, dumpster indeed, is yes. in non-compliance right. with okay. township uh, gotcha. regulations. Okay. Do we hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay. Thank I'm you. A little stupid. What's next then? Do I pick a permit up or you mail it? Or uh, you can talk to Kevin about the procedure then? on that. You'll be issued a written decision from this board. Um, it'll come from our office, uh, and then any uh, building permits that are needed need to be applied for, um, and we'll review those and issue the building permits separately. Okay. Uh, you'll be all right there, sir. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, next is DRB 2020-22. The application of Holland floor covering at 124 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, zoned under the Wayne Business Overlay District for three wall signs. Hey, Dennis. Hi, I'm Dennis McLaughlin from Denron Sign Company, and uh, we're proposing to replace the signs up there uh, where Wayne Sporting Goods was. And just so happened, I did the Wayne Sporting Goods signs for a company I used to work for back here in Wayne 38 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you noticed, the original sign is the on the building the white now. Show on yeah, the, is that yeah. the one you did? No, I did, I did the dark green. The white was up there prior to that. That was wow. done how long ago? I did the green ones when I first started in the business in 81. My God, I didn't want to believe that they were up that long. Do you guys see the original sign up there now? Yeah, it's cool. yeah it, looks, it looks nice. Yeah, it's really retro. It's cool. Yeah. I wanted someone to do uh, Wayne Sports Bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a picture. Well, you know, it's funny that, that the sign Dennis is talking about was put up oh, right before the, the sign ordinance, new sign ordinance went yeah. into effect. And I remember Wayne Sporting Goods was worried. They're like, hey, we just spent a lot of money for these new signs. We're going to have to take them down and all that. So, yeah. Yeah, they kept those. The, yes. They were carved in gold leaf. That right. That's for, you know, memorabilia. Yeah. Whatever. But that's how it was. You know, the carved dark green and gold. Mm hmm And uh, so now Holland... Floor covering. They're up in Bucks County. They're in Newtown and everything. And uh, there's just going to be three more carved panels to be put back in there. Uh, Excuse the me, Dennis. Urethane carved. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. They're urethane carved signs uh, filled with 23 karat gold leaf and built in the same manner as those, the same size. They're 23 by 112 or whatever. Uh, those panels and uh, he asked me to put on those light fixtures the goosenecks over top he may do that and he was going to ask the bread company he liked their gooseneck lights uh, 
he may do that in the future, but I'm just doing the car signs, mm -hmm. but he asked me to just show that to you. They're the same type of lights as the bread company was using. Well, he's we, could gonna, have, we could approve them so he doesn't want to come back, right? Well, we probably want to see the fixtures and okay. all. Yeah, I think it's better if we have them come back just to play it safe. I'll let, I'll let the, because yeah. we don't handle that. Right, it won't so, be you, right. but yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, so we're just replacing them. The the letter, I know you guys are always concerned about the height of the letters. Sure. The, the letters are 13 inches high. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, there's gold leaf borders around the edge as well of those sign panels. So technically, they're a little over to 50 square feet, yeah. which he's allowed. So you're at 53 and change. So, <laughs> so I know we're, we're going to get picky here, but uh, yeah. If, you're allowed 50 square feet, and it's 53. But so, I mean, same like if non-conforming and it's just replacing yeah. almost in kind. Yeah, I would yeah. look at it um, in terms of what was there, um, yes. and if these are filling that that void. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, yeah, it, it's not 10 years removed. It's you know, what was immediately there. So right, and, and I know okay it's the it. correct size because I. I measured it, but then I had my guys go back and double check mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. And uh, so. That looks yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be black instead yeah. of the dark green. Yeah, it'll be black and gold, and mm -hmm. they thought that would look uh, richer looking and things like that. And they have a carved sign up in Newtown, so that they just wanted it to be consistent and everything. Mm -hmm. And mainline people seem to like the carved signs and everything as well so mm -hmm. that's why you wanted to do something like that i proposed halo lit signs to them and right. things like that but they like the carved signs yeah. the best i think it looks nice i think it looks real good yeah um then it's just uh i know you're good about it but just make sure they put the uh, address on the door i know they're doing a lot of renovations in there and Right. Yeah, just just make sure at least four inch uh, numbers on a door. All right. so, yeah, it's one twenty four. Yeah, and you know about the hidden fasteners and all that. I don't have to tell you. Right. So. Oh yeah, and that's yeah. why I was showing here. Right. To show that we're going to spud mount spud mount the panels. Mm -hmm. We won't go through the face. We'll go through the back with studs. Mm -hmm. Put up a mounting pattern, and then we'll put mm -hmm. epoxy in where we have the studs. Mm -hmm. And they'll probably be like. Uh, sit, sit. I'm sorry. It'll probably be like six studs per panel, and then we'll epoxy them into the holes so they're in there nice and tight. Okay. All right. I, I, I mentioned about the goose nights, goose necks coming back. Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, I think they need. I, I think so. Just yeah. to play it safe. So. so we see the fixture. We understand exactly. the, how much light's coming on those things. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. All right, so and that, that's what he wanted to see too. He was wondering why Wayne Sporting Goods didn't have lighting on it, and I said, "Well, he was thinking there's a street light right there." He goes, "Maybe that cast a lot of light or something." I said, "I'm not sure. I'm yeah. not by at nighttime too often." I I don't think they had any oh, well, issues so. or anything, right? With visibility there. Well, clearly they did. They're out of business. <laughs> oh, they they <laughs> well, they were there a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So we'll say non-illuminated for this round. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Colin, you want, uh, sure. Dennis, any other questions for the board? No, that's it. You're good. Okay. Uh, You're good, matter. Kevin? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, matter of DRB two zero two zero two two Holland Floor Club covering one twenty four East Lancaster Avenue. Proposed uh, wall signs to replace existing wall signs in size. Uh, motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Dennis. Good to see you. All right. Thanks. Okay, All right. Last on the agenda tonight. Patience Award. DRB 2020-23, the application of TD Bank at 200 North, North Radnor Chester Road in Radnor for 11 ground signs. <laughs> two wall signs and one freestanding sign. Hello there. Uh, so, I'm sorry, before we yes. get started, um, citing TD Bank as a client uh, of the company I work for, I will be recusing myself from anything associated with this project. Okay. I'll still sit here 
pending old business afterwards, but uh, Great. I just want to state that up front. Okay. Thanks, Jason. All righty. Can you please use a mic? Oh, oh okay. You're oh, gonna, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, all right. Good evening. Um, what we're proposing to do... Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you tell us who you are oh, and I'm the sorry. business you represent? I'm sorry. I'm Gina Groves with Philadelphia Sign. This is Kathy Schmidt from Philadelphia Sign as well. Okay. Welcome. What we're proposing to do is just change out all of the existing signs because they are in very poor condition. The bank has since changed their logo slightly, um, but everything except for one sign is pretty much, I think, a like for like. Looking at this one, and I apologize for not having this in color. I didn't realize I'd have this opportunity. That's okay. Okay. Why this just is the monument sign, um, EO1. Same size face. We're not touching the sign at all. It's just a completely new acrylic face going into the existing sign. Might as well just run right through them. How about that? Okay. One Perfect. after the other. We'll just stop if we have any questions. Okay. Um, this is EO2. This is one of the wall signs. We are basically just taking the same exact sign and putting a new one up. Um, it's more cost effective to put the new sign with the LED versus the lamps. And the new face is flat instead of the TD lettering being uh, pushed through. But again, it's the same exact size. Okay. This is the set of channel letters over the front entry door. Um, we are just going to reface the TD logo to the left and the race stripe that runs underneath. All right. Next, please. Um, the directional signs we are changing to non-illuminated. Um, I do believe they are slightly smaller, um, very slightly smaller, okay. um, but same copy, same direction. All right. It's another directional. Okay. You guys are good so far. <laughs> All right. Um, there are a total of 11 parking signs for customers only on the property, and we are just recommending changing the upper portion to show the bank's new standard sign. Yes. Uh, but again, all of the copy is the same. Okay. As the parking issues simmer down down there, or you guys are the sign people, so you wouldn't know. We haven't yeah. gotten any complaints since 2017. So. Okay, all right, good. <laughs> okay. So, um, and I think that's it. That's more parking. Yeah. Okay, so again, which was the one to change slightly? The just a directional? Yes. Oh, okay. And I was just, you said, if anything, just a little smaller. Yeah, it, a fraction. Okay. How did the logo change? Um, if you look at the upper image, the logo is to the left, whereas now we have it on top with the copy underneath. Um, Kathy, if you can flip to the monument sign, that's the biggest change. Whereas to the left, you can see at the top, you can see the TD logo with the bank letters and the race stripe to the right towards the top part of the sign. Now the logo is all you see. There's no bank, and it's the entire face almost. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Easy peasy. All right. Any questions, Tim? Tim? No, I don't think Colin? so. Colin? Yeah. Wasn't the best job. Okay. Colin, you're good? Yes. Okay. Any questions for the board? You guys are good? No, we're you guys good. Work well as a tandem there? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Okay, you've done this before. Sorry for the wait. My first one, actually. Ah, congratulations. Okay. <laughs> if we know now, we'd have beaten you up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> good. Great. Great. All right. Tim, you're good? Sure. Want to make the motion there? In the matter of DRB 2020 23, the application of TD Bank to replace existing uh, ground signs, wall signs, and freestanding signs. I move to approve the application. Here a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Have you. a great night. 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 Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Uh, any old business or new business for our board tonight? No? Yes, sir. Okay. I guess we'll see you in August. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Guys.